this section was uh, unique for us because it, it allowed us to start off with another palette after our intro. Um, if you can see, we start off with the claps. Um, and at that point, we were able to use that motif to start in the front ensemble to emulate what we hear with the visual program. Hopefully you guys are able to see over there um, and just really use this opportunity to create space and to develop a snare phrase over a longer period of time while using the other elements of the percussion for the visual elements that we need to help tell the story. And as you guys can see, the spokes now that I was talking about um, earlier, uh, that took a while to figure out exactly how many we needed versus members on the floor and the lights we wanted to use. Um, and I was really happy the way it turned out because we were able to kind of use those spots for uh, specific moments in the show. And the most important thing about this is we were able to use space. We're able to cleanse the palette, let the front ensemble take over, and then develop that motif through the snares to where it finally ended up with the vertical moment at the end. Uh, throughout all of this, we needed the inspiration to create this, and this is where Matt Filosa came into play. The whole idea behind this section uh, was big things have small beginnings, and we wanted to be really organic with the sounds that we created and build off of that. So that's why we decided to use body drumming um, just natural things that we all can create and start with just such a thin texture and slowly over time develop it, which also fit really well into the theme of blooming. So it's everything we do always relates to that idea and sets up the visual program. And that's something that we're always taking into account while we're designing. There's always a visual element we have to think about so that that coordination um, always works out. We're not missing something that music GE, it's, it's always there. So, and there's also a physical element to the body drumming that you see in the videos that really brought a whole new energy to this section. And uh, that combined with Brian's piece really created the exact texture that we wanted and uh, a more aggressive part of the show. So uh, Matt will talk more about the arranging side of things. So one of the things uh, when we're composing originally um, in Logic and Sibelius is um, we're trying to kind of visualize in our head what the visual ideas are going to be. Um, the original thought with this beginning section was going to be that it would be a single person doing the stomping and clapping, almost the, uh, the show band style kind of body drumming. Um, well, what it ended up being on the visual idea was actually a whole snare line doing it at once. So our original composition for this actually had kind of a fugal idea of body drumming among the ensemble as individual players. Um, so my job as the front ensemble arranger was to keep them out of the way while still creating a nice bed of sound um, for what we were attempting to do um, musically. Now this next section, we're gonna talk about some design choices. Sometimes when we write things out and we put them onto the floor, it sounds great on the audio and we put it uh, on the floor and it's like, this is great. And then all of a sudden we see a moment where we could magnify something out of it. We can add more to a section or create a little more. So the, the moral of this is not to really love what you write from the beginning. Anything you put out there can always be changed to make better and create an idea. And this is one of those sections. We're gonna play one of these for you where we, uh, what, what it was originally done as, and then we're gonna play it again with the additional parts added so you can kind of see what we had to do to it and what it ended up turning out as. So if you guys could play it without the two bars, please.
Thanks, guys. Now, this moment when we added the two bars in there, it was visually easy to do because we were already set up for the quads to have focus. So what we did was we just gave a few more notes to the quads to kind of put that exclamation point at the end of the phrase. Um, a couple things, it, it added some more beef to the quad moment and it also allowed just for a, a little more tension and release at the end of the phrase. So here it is with the two bars added, please. The video, off the mat. 